In this video, we go on a topless crawl around Las Vegas, back here with Norma Heli. Next on JK. What's up, JK Shiners? Welcome back to another video. I am here once again with Norma. What's up, Norma? What's up? Oh my God, so topless? Topless. We're doing a little Spanish flavor today because, you know, I lived two years in Barcelona. I love my tapas and I just eat this We're going to try out some, you know, tortilla de patata, a few of the signature tapas, and maybe a gin and tonic, and maybe a porron. Have you ever heard of a porron? I have not. Well, it's going to be fun. I'm excited. Stay tuned, check it out, and yeah, let's go to the first place. We are at stop number one on this Las Vegas tapas crawl. This is Pamplona Cocktails and Tapas. Now they have a great happy hour here and we're gonna go inside, try out a drink and maybe a tapa or appetizer or two. And Norma's behind the camera, so let's go in. That's really sweet. It's actually really tangy too. It's really tart out of everything. This is the Sangria Dulcinea. It's their white sangria. Now on happy hour, it's six bucks. It's usually 12 bucks. So from five to 6.30, you can get this for half off. So white sangria. Cheers, Mrs. Spain. Ooh, tastes like a pear with alcohol in it and some apple, really sweet. It's a good sangria trying to reminisce about my time in Spain. So I love the white sangria while I was there. Really good, definitely recommend this. This place is called Pamplona Tapas and it's one of my favorite cities in Spain. I did running into the bulls there in 2013. I'll show you guys a couple pictures. I had a really good time over in Pamplona. The, the old town of Pamplona is a really cool place to see and it's in the north of Spain near Bilbao which is about an hour away from it in San Sebastian, which has the best pinchos in all of Spain. That really brings back a few memories of my trip to Pamplona in 2013. We got the pan de la casa, which is toasted bread topped with garlic tomato sauce and serrano ham. I love jamón serrano. This is one of my favorite things. And next up, we got the tortilla española, which has traditional potatoes, onion, Spanish omelet, served with homemade aioli and fried tomato sauce. And these are gonna be the croquetas de pollo, which is gonna be deep fried chicken and bechamel. Nice, so let's dig in. First off, we're gonna try out the uh, jamón serrano. Cheers. <laughs> I like the sauce. Mm, yeah. Jamón is nice and thin. It's almost like a very thick prosciutto, almost. Like mm -hmm. I was having a little trouble there, but no, I really like how thick it is. That's a definite thumbs up. And during their happy hour from 5 to 6.30, you get three choices from their menu for 20 bucks. And if you want six, they give you six for 40. Yeah, garlic tomato sauce. You definitely get the garlicky taste to it. It's not overpowering, but it's good. The bread is lightly toasted as well. Mm -hmm. That was very light. It was still really squishy in the middle. Mm -hmm. Smashed up. Yeah, I love any type of charcuterie. So to me, I know this has jamon, but to me, this is a prosciutto. Half and half? Mm -hmm. I've never seen this. This is like a really big omelet. So this is the uh, tortilla española. It's like, you know, your, your take on a Spanish type omelet. So this is their homemade aioli sauce right here. This was my favorite breakfast at Bar Estudiantil in Barcelona. I used to get this all the time. Look at the potatoes in there. Very potato-y. Mm. This aioli, super good. Very light. Doesn't feel heavy. I'll give some love to the red. It's like a chutney or something. I definitely like the aioli better though. I do, I agree. Cheers to the aioli. We have a beautiful view of Red Rock. Right in front of it is a Burlington Cook Factory. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very uh, high class lunch right now. Yep. Dinner, I guess. Dinner. This is one of my favorites. This is uh, croquetas but it's got pollo in it. Like a the chicken dipping. tender? It's like a potato ball with chicken in it. So it said it has bechamel, so I'm imagining I'm gonna bite into this and then there's gonna be something creamy in there. All right, Cheers. cheers. Salud. Mm. It's got like a mesquite. The sauce is a little... I really like the sauce mm -hmm. actually. I think it was perfectly. 
so tomatoey. Mm. It's almost like a mix of a mozzarella stick with a brown nope. chicken tender, but creamier. That's good though. So we're gonna polish off these sangrias and we're gonna head over to the next place. Salud. Salud. All right, JK, so while we work on this porron, please hit that like button. It really helps distribute it throughout YouTube. Please subscribe to Norma Helly's channel. She's got a lot of great Vegas food and travel content. Subscribe to Jacation. I got San Diego, Vegas, and world travel. And back to the video of the Tapas Crawl in Las Vegas. Next up, we're here at EDO Tapas. It's in the middle of an Asian shopping center, so this definitely stands out. Yo, can I do my eyebrows with this? Looks like you can. And then here we have our mouth. We have the salt chunk of tar, some pepada from Catalonia, Spanish olives, and then on the side here we have some anchovitas from San Carlos. They brought out the gazpacho first, and they said it's supposed to be our palate cleanser, right, for the night? Yes. And this nice little cute mug. Salud. Salud. Wow. Very vinegary. Like so many vegetables in there. Yeah. Besides, obviously, like the tomatoes. It's a plethora um, of yeah. vegetables. I can see why it's only a shot because it's really, really like strong. Give me a whole bowl. She wants a whole bowl of gazpacho. Now that's a big tradition over in Catalonia is having gazpacho too. I remember going to a lot of my friends' houses and they'd bring out the gazpacho. It's amazing. Yum yum. Yum yum. <laughs> yummy yummy. In my tummy. I can't believe how you just shot it like, a, like it's a shot. She enjoyed it. Uh, I'm like savoring it. I don't want to. I don't want it to end. All right, JK Shinner, So we're starting off with the charcuterie board. Now I'm gonna try to say everything that they have in here. They got my favorite cheese, which is the manchego cheese. Everything else is the paletilla, salsichon, lomo, chorizo, artisanal cheeses. We got olives and pepara pepper. Good job, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad someone appreciates me. And you all know I love charcuterie boards. I love to create them. Uh, but this is very well beautifully done too. Yeah, it's a nice presentation for sure. All right, Norma, let's go with uh, the charcuterie. Is this what we're using my tweezers for? We're going to use your tweezers for okay. this. <laughs> nice and thin and tasty. Mm. It feels like it came out of... Bocaria Mercat in Barcelona. Mm -hmm. That's how tasty this place is. Yeah, this is very high quality meats. Oh my god. And they do have world renowned chefs from Spain that have come over here to work here. Amazingly thin. <laughs> Transparent thin. And that's the chorizo. You got a little spice with it? No. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. Is that some sort of tartar? Mm hmm. Okay. This looks like some sort of tartar. Looks so good. Alright. Mmm, mm, my lanta. Oh, my lanta. That's really. This tastes more like capers, anchovies. Capers, not pickle balls? Not pickle balls. <laughs> If you watch her buffet video, you'll know what we're talking about in her bloopers. You like peppers? I do like peppers. Ooh, are they gonna be hot? Spicy? Right. Wanna play roulette and see if they are? Alright, let's do it. Oh my god. A little bit. Ooh, Ooh yeah. That hit. I was about to be like, it's not bad. Like a shishito pepper or like a banana pepper? Like a mix of. More yeah, like a banana pepper. Very banana peppery. Yeah, I love these cheeses. And like usually on the sides, sometimes they have the thing that you can feel. Like this end has it. Oh, okay. The rind. Yeah. Is that what okay. it's called? It's called the rind? It's called the rind. It's like a semi-dry cheese. It is dry, but you still have a little bit of a, like a good bite to it. Yeah. And it's not super, super pungent. No, cheese, right? not at all. Yeah. Mm. This is my favorite. This one is mine, the prosciutto. Mm -hmm. I just love this outer layer of fat. I love it. And Norma, when I was living in Barcelona, I was working in a little town called San Cugat del Valles. Every day at the school I worked at, they had a charcuterie board and you can make your own sandwiches every day. And this type of meat. Sandwich? I would never put any of this in a sandwich. Yeah, your bocadillo. <laughs> in Spain, it's called a bocadillo. I love any type of olive, honestly. So Norma loves olives. Jaycation 
doesn't do all this. We can transfer that that way, so she can just kill it all. Careful, it has the seeds in it. Look how thin that is. Shrub. Yep. Close up. Wow. The first cheese that we had is the Mahon cheese, and this is the Manchego right here. So this is my favorite right here. So good. I don't want it to like touch. So Norma, what do you think? Full transparency. Get it? <laughs> I think this is amazing. I think they should let me play with this so I can make my own charcuterie board in the future. Thanks man. You brought the stuff. We're gonna try out the Monkey 47 Gin, which is one of their best sellers here at this spot. It has Mediterranean tonic water, sage, blackberry, and coconut. All right, so you get first dips. Oh shoot, okay. I love the big cube of ice in the middle. It's so cool to me. And I love gin, by the way, so I'm excited. Sipping on gin and juice, laid back. Dude, that's dangerous. Is it a hit up? Yeah. Another story, guys, I'm just gonna reminisce about Spain like half of this video. I used to get gin and tonics because my roommates were bartenders and my favorite bar, Bar at Gentil, which you've seen on my channel many times before, they used to make me different types of gin and tonics like Hendrix, Seagram's, and like different types. Uh, there's even a pink gin that they had me try. They weren't kidding when they said it has a whole club in there. Oh yeah, that is that was a whole ass clove in my mouth. That's dangerous for sure. Yeah. Wow. This is money. Money in the bank. So cheers. Salud. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One more? I'll try a little bit better. Artichoke hearts with bechamel sauce. We have a shishiro pepper foam and frikando sauce and pipara peppers on top. Thanks, man. This is piping hot. You can still see the steam on here. Yeah, this bowl is piped hot. Okay, he has the darker sauce. See? Ooh. <laughs> All right. They said to make sure that you get both sauces in, so we made sure there's a darker sauce with the lighter sauce. So here we go. Very creamy, and if you put the peppers in it, there's something so familiar about this sauce. I can't put my finger mm -hmm. on it. Sauces, right? Whatever it is, it's a perfect mixture of two sauces here. Looks like a piece of art on the inside a bowl. Mm. The mix of the two sauces and then the peppers are just amazing. It's so creamy on the inside. I feel like they blended it like five times to get it that creamy. And the hamon in this is really right. All right, the anchovies are next. No pizza necessary. So shout out to Ciudad Condal over in Barcelona. They're the ones that got me liking anchovies. So I haven't had it since Ciudad Condal. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Like pungent salty. You got your little bones in there, right? Almost like a smoked salmon, but in anchovy. With the oil too, yeah. Very oily, yes. The poron. It's something that they do over in Barcelona, in Catalonia. I went over to a place over there. I'll show it to you guys. I did it on uh, Barcelona food tours. I didn't spill my shirt, so let's see what happens on this one. So this is Norma's first time trying yeah. the poro. Good thing I'm wearing black. Yep. That wasn't bad, right? I had a little bit of a spill, but not too bad. It's really good, too. Wow. You get a little piney taste to it. Oh my god. Oh. I'm so nervous right now. Extend, extend, extend. <laughs> so that was the parron. Yeah, that was good. That's pretty cool like tradition, a, right? It tastes like a cocktail yeah. more than anything. We got a ways to go here. Gonna, do we have to drink it out of here each time? Oh yeah. Oh That's the fun of the parron, right? You have to finish it all in the Yep. You gotta do the waterfall. You gotta do the waterfall. Maybe I'll be a pro at it by the end of the Yeah, see? Practice makes perfect. Okay. See, we're not we're not all perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm a mess now. Dry cleaners. This is a brand new shirt. 
I'm gonna take this to Hawaii. Norma was saying my shirt was uh, very wrong, springy. Wrong state. She's yeah. like, you're in the wrong state, dude. <laughs> A little better. That I like better. it. That's a good one. I want to try one more round. <laughs> Lady like. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? That's delicious. I like that. Is it a fun? Is it a fun twist in drinking? It is a fun drink. Um, yeah. I kind of want that. I will drink tea out of it. I don't yeah, care. yeah, for <laughs> sure. Wow, this is amazing, guys. They made a special patatas bravas you won't even find in Spain here, which is this. Wow, it looks like <laughs> giant french fries. It's like four giant french fries. They said it's like a puff pastry. It's, a, it's like pastry and like potatoes, like 12 layers. And they said it's unique to this restaurant. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. Hot daddy, hot. Hot, hot, hot. All right, I'm going to dip it, but I'm going to put it down because it's too hot. Oh my god. Mm. This is the winner. Everything here has been phenomenal, but the sauce that they have for the patatas brava sauce, along with this concoction of potato layers, so good. It's a little bit spicy. I would say it's like a medium for me <laughs> and spicy, but I mean, all I can say about this is layers. Initial crunch. Yeah, so I talked about that. I think that's the best part of this whole thing the initial crunch. Crunchy throughout, but still soft on the inside. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it without the sauce. Really awesome twist to patatas bravas. Wow. And if you like that spice, this brava sauce, amazing. They said that they put it in the oven and they put like a weight on top of it to kind of like push it all down for an hour. So it takes time to prepare this. This is not your in and out fries right here, guys. I could eat this for breakfast. Really? Mm -hmm. Is this a breakfast thing for you? To yeah. me, I think so. Yeah, like side of a uh, eggs. I don't know something. But I could eat this for breakfast. I love carbs though. <laughs> so this is my stuff. If I'm paying more than thirty bucks for a burger, I expect to see these come with it. I'll pay thirty bucks for that without a burger. Oh, okay. That good. <laughs> Uh, Miss Helly, can you give me the gin and tonic, please? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes. Mr. Cation, can I try the gin and tonic? Oh, you got more. You can have more of this. Got it. Don't drop it. That's gonna hit, huh? Yeah. We haven't even tried the pan, the pan con tomate yet. The traditional pan con tomate, we went ass backwards because we're supposed to have this first. But we also did have tapas at the other place since this is a tapas crawl video. So yeah. we were kind of carved out. Yeah. So do you want to just half one? Or do you want a full one? No, let's do half a one. I mean, everything came out super quick. So we were like, oh my God. And then we yep. were like about to get to this and more came out. So. So it's a plethora of goodness. So here's the pan con tomate. Mm. Mm. This would have been the perfect first dish. Yep. It's like a focaccia type bread, right? That type of texture. Like it's really crunchy, but it's not hard. It's like, same thing, like really flaky also. Mm -hmm. And the tomato paste is amazing. Let's do a video in Barcelona. Let's go to Barcelona. I will do a Barcelona video and my Vegas style videos. I don't care for Barcelona. Good. Cool. I'm a big fan of this bread. Yep. I'm taking that home. <laughs> Unless Norma finishes it all, then it's fine. I have a pool video I gotta do. I'm not taking that home. It was all amazing. Everything we had here was great. Freaking amazing. I mean, I feel like they all got better each time. But this uh, patatas bravas thing that they have yeah. is is awesome so unique and you can't even find this in like Spain I can't stop eating it gotta finish it yes. gotta have it all and you don't have to travel to Catalonia to have your poron all right guys so shout out to Roberto and everybody else here at EDO Papas and Wine extra day off is what it stands for and it really brings me back to Barcelona and Catalonia I really miss my second home we're finally gonna end this with the pulpo, oh, and it looks great. So fancy. The, the presentation is so fancy. Usually the the pulpo that I get comes in like a wooden charcuterie board. It's all like piled up on top of each other. This is like it looks like a 
full, full flour or something mm -hmm. like that. There's some black sauce on it. Yeah, I think it's squid ink. Man, so here's so good. here's that squid ink. Well, I know octopus as very chewy, but this is so soft. Man, so no, tender. No, it really is, and you don't have to really work that hard to like digest it. I really love these onion rings. Mm-hmm. So good. They got like a little crisp taste to it too. I don't even taste onion. I just, it's all crispy. Mm -hmm. This is a great place. Like this yeah. place is in, in the middle of an Asian commercial strip mall with a bunch of like Korean barbecue spots, karaoke spots. You wouldn't think a Spanish Barcelona style tapas place is in the middle of this. So EDO tapas. For this shopping center, I've been here for karaoke. I've been here because they have a, like a pool hall area. But I had no idea they had tapas place right here. It's not a small strip mall, but it's very limited on parking. I will yep. say that. So I think that's one of the reasons I didn't come here that often because you would run into that problem. Now I gotta come here more. You gotta go to Barcelona and try the authentic, like, this is authentic for sure. But in Barcelona, like, you just get that feel. You know, that Catalonia feel. You're in the Mediterranean, nothing beats it. I'm gonna start talking Spanish with a different accent. <laughs> <laughs> bon dia. Looks like it's a black chili of all like, sorts. I dare you, Jay. Don't dare me, Norma. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. <laughs> no, not a chili. Maybe it's the yellow ones, but fried. And burnt. They burn. They burn. They burn it. But it's still good. Yeah. Like there's no spice to it. I thought it was gonna be super spicy. I think they do it to match the squid ink to make it the presentation. And then the yellow on the sauce they put on the pulpo, bowl, the black, yellow, it pops. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> How's my grill? Yeah? A little bit. Un poquito. Yeah. But you're good. What do you expect? You're eating black stuff. What's up, Oscar? Hi, how are you? How you doing, man? Everything good. Thanks for having us oh, tonight. Thank you for coming. I'm from Barcelona, so I really inspired tapas from Barcelona, you know. And I've been a long time living there and then, you know, coming to Vega and trying to make it as real as possible. You know? Nice, and you really brought Barcelona to Vegas, man. It's Hopefully. So <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Nice to meet you, too. Pleasure. Bye. Thanks for having us, man. All right, Norma, so... This was amazing. EDO tapas was just uh, mm. phenomenal. Everything. It really was. The pulpo, yeah. the gin and tonic. It was not what I expected, but in a good way. Yep. So finally, you hit 30,000 subscribers. Yes. Just recently. Mm -hmm. So congrats. So I was walking around San Diego and I saw something that I want to give you. I got you a little present what? from San Diego. Norma's from San Diego, so oh my God. I figured you give her a little something. I love it already. No. <laughs> oh, you know me so well. So what besides that, I'm from San Diego. I love the show Friends. So this is like a play on Friends and San Diego. So I was shooting in Seaport Village. And I was like, oh, that's Norma's type of shirt. So, yes. you know, a little 30,000 subscriber present for you. Thank you so much. And thanks for always, you I know, showing it. Cool. I would wear it right now, but it's 99 degrees today. Freaking 100 degrees here. <laughs> On to the next place? Yes. We're traveling over to the next tapas spot in the tapas crawls here in Las Vegas. We are in my SD Cruise and car rental. Now, if you use the promo code JCATION, you get 15% off your entire next rental with SD Cruising Rentals. So go check it out. We're in our drop top 4 Series BMW. Me and Norma are headed over to the last spot. One more place. Whatever you got left, give it to us. Whatever left. All right, JKationers, so we're here at the third and final place for the tapas crawl in Las Vegas. We're here at Forte Tapas. It was only about a six minute drive from EDO Tapas. Shout out once again to EDO Tapas for hooking us up with an amazing dinner and that paron and gin and tonic on point, guys. Let's go inside, try it out. All right, JK Turner, so we're here at the third and final spot. This is Forte Tapas. It's a hot night tonight. It's like mid 80s, right? This place actually feels more of like a European type restaurant. Like it has more international flavors. They do have tapas. They have Spanish tapas. We were going to get dessert, but we ended up getting the uh, gambas al ajillo. 
And this is it right here. And it comes with one piece of uh, tapas bread. And yeah, this is our final meal of the night. Okay. We're even sitting outside. That's how European it is. Yep. Can I split the bread? I'm gonna split the bread. I'm gonna mm. dip it in this sauce. Some good bread. It's like buttered and grilled. Yeah, very much buttery. Mm. That's a really like lemony, buttery, garlicky sauce. Heavy garlic butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit spicy. I found the chili flakes. You can see the chili flakes right there floating around a little bit. Uh oh. Found some a lemon for you. No, I mean, this isn't soup. Come on. <laughs> the last one. So, guys, this is not soup. Let me finish it off then. So as Norma finishes up the non-soup, but just loves the buttery, garlicky goodness to this. For real, this probably will not do wonders for my breath. <laughs> I have a full library of Barcelona, Madrid, and Spain videos. A bunch of tapas from all over there. Now, with the pandemic happening, a lot of these places are closing down, which is unfortunate. But some places eventually are going to open up as things get better around the world. So. Go check out my Barcelona and Madrid videos. I also have San Sebastian. Go check it out. Watch Jay speak Spanish. <laughs> Gracias. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Well, that was a great tapas crawl. We started over at Pamplona, headed over to Edio Tapas, and now we ended up here at Forte. So there's your Las Vegas tapas crawl. And there are a few other tapas restaurants around Las Vegas that we didn't cover. So I would definitely suggest checking those out as well. But Edio Tapas, amazing. So good. So yeah. good. you got to try their take on the patatas bravas. And then the croquetas with the two sauces. So good. Amazing. This did help me, bring me back to Spain a little bit. Good. Thanks for coming along. Yeah, thanks for having me. I know. Uh, Thank Norma you for my sweater. Oh yeah, for sure. And congrats on your 30,000 and let's get you to 50. So subscribe to Norma and uh, yeah, you'll see more of her. Yeah, subscribe to Jaycation too, please. Yeah, thanks. Hit me up. <laughs> and yeah, check out our Patreon pages and help support us through our journey through YouTube. We'll see you in the next video. And in the words of me, stay traveling, Jaycationers. <laughs>